Welcome back to Disabled and Prepping. And tonight I am going to try to make a birthday cake in my rice cooker. So, um, you won't see me very much, but the whole thing is making the rice, uh, the cake in a rice cooker. So the more important thing is to see the rice cooker. So, um, this is the box mix that I'm going to make. Um, and you gotta just, you just follow it by, uh, the, you just follow the directions on the cake mix. So, my cake mix. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So, uh, not cutting this egg very well. What the heck? Excuse me. Sorry for cutting it in front. I thought I could get it with that knife. But this bag has decided to fight it. So, we're just going to throw all the stuff over there for now. And we are going to. I think what we're gonna do is mix this in the in the rice cooker, just so I don't have to have like a bunch of items. Ooh, this may also maybe too small. So we're gonna take the the rice cooker part out for right now. And this is um, a super moist party rainbow chip, and it says there's pudding in the mix. I don't know. So. Whether this works or it doesn't, it's all on camera. I'm going to put these sprinkles on there. They're kind of like a pastel uh, blue, yellow, white, and purple. Um, and pink. There's some pink in there. And then I'm going to use whipped frosting fluffy white for, an, uh, for the top after it cools. Um, but this is all stuff that I got from the, these items here are all stuff that I got from Munchies. So, um, except for the eggs, ooh, I forgot to take those out of the refrigerator. Uh-oh, it might bump the camera, sorry y'all. Gotta get my eggs. I forgot about that. Okay, sorry about the camera bouncing around and moving. No, sorry y'all. I need to keep my eggs cool. Um, so we have, I haven't made a cake in forever, so we can skip the heating directions uh, to mix. I guess you just pour everything together. Yes. All right, so I need one cup of water, but those have my eggs in it, so I gotta carefully put those on the counter over here. And we're gonna use the Berkey get a cup of water. A cup of water goes into the cake mix. There we go. Now we can put the eggs back in here so we don't have them falling off the counter. As I get the oil, which is a half cup. Yes, half cup. And I'm going to use this one up. Yes, the bottle does not look very good. Oh, and you know, this one always gives me trouble opening up. There we go. Um, so, hopefully, I should have enough to get a half a cup. Yes, I do. So, we're going to pour that in there, too. Alright, that one's going to go in that bowl there. So, I can wash it later. We're throwing the this out. And now, we're going to do the eggs. This is a whole egg, right? <laughs> Uh, yes. All right. Get the eggs. And I probably should be cracking the egg into a different container in case they're bad, but these are fairly new eggs, so they should be okay. Okay, so I'll sniff it as I crack them open a bit. Just to make sure. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope this works like I've seen other ones, other people make. Make the egg wrap tape. No problem. It's got half of the egg on them. Alright, there we go. Now, we need something to mix. What do we gotta use? Um, excuse me again, I forgot I should be. And I have a whisk. 
Um, not that you guys need to be seeing my back. There's not much there uh, to show up. Anyway, so the whole thing about that is to watch the cute. So we're going to bust the eggs up a bit first. There we go. And we're going to mix it together. And I will probably end up making a mess, but that's okay. It's all the fun of making stuff, right? I hope this works. I'm so excited. Uh, today is Friday. I am making it tonight so I can have it for tomorrow for my birthday. Um, I just uh, had lunch with my grandma. Um, so that was really nice. I wish I could see her more often. I really do. Um, but I just don't have access to a vehicle to go. This is really... I have not mixed cakes in a long time. It's just trying to make sure I got all the powder off the bottom. Because this whisk is a little bit bigger than the bottom edge corner. It looks like it's all good. So, alright. This, they said, should take two to three rounds in the rice cooker, depending on the rice cooker. So I'm thinking I'll probably have to go two or three rounds for sure on mine because mine's just a, by weight. Um, and then it will go, it's a cook. As soon as you plug it in, it's on. And uh, it goes to warm right away. And then you push it on to cook. Um, I know what, no, I put the water in. <laughs> I was like, I know why it's thick, it's not the water, but I added the water. And then the vegetable and three eggs. Yep, I'm good. Oh boy. I've got to train that hamster or squirrel up there that's on that hamster wheel to stay on that wheel. Because, oh uh, gosh, otherwise I end up losing it. I forget what I've done. I guess the more I bake, the more I will remember what I've done. Anyways. Alright, I'm going to put that in the bowl to let it soak. This is what the cake batter looks like. I'm not going to dump it much further because otherwise it will be out of there. I probably should grab something. Uh, I'll use my chopsticks. Um, and then get some of this off the edge. So it doesn't burn. Or whatever. Alright. I have trouble using chopsticks so I use this straw. And now they stay together when I can do things. But we're going to put them in there. Because they got cake on them. So, alright, we're gonna put this in there, plug it in, because as soon as we plug it in, it starts. So now it's on warm. Um, let me get this cleaned up just a bit more. We don't need all of that all over the place. Alright. Oh, we got cake on me. Alright, I'm gonna put it on cook. I'm going to put the cover on it so it uh, does the top of it better too. And I will bring you back each time I reset it so you, you can see how long it is and where it's at and things like that. So, alright. Got your fingers crossed that it works? I hope so. Because uh, it'll be my first birthday cake in a long time. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I hope it works. Alright, bring you back in a minute. I came out here to turn on an additional light because I realized the first part of it was fairly dark. So I'm holding it right now so I can move up closer. Um, look at this cake! Um, I don't know. Hopefully it stays within the, the rice cooker because it's starting to puff up. I don't know y'all. I might have a cake that runneth, runneth over but uh, or gets close to the lid. But, um, <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be interesting, y'all. All right, bring you back in a little. Oh, it's on warm, so time to click it again. So, all right, everybody, this is round two, and it's getting close to the top. So, everybody cross your fingers that it doesn't boil over, but uh, if it does, it is what it is, I guess. I'm going to move this thing real quick because I don't want that full of gook. 
geek stuff. Anyways, I also got the Trisket out, uh, the whatever it's called, from the, the wire rack from my Instapot Max because I don't have one for this to put the cake on. And the, the handle things are on the bottom, so just so everybody knows. All right, bring you back in a little bit. Okay, I brought you back because um, the rice cooker no longer turns on. <laughs> um, I think I killed my rice cooker. Um, I had it held down because it wouldn't, it just kept popping up and it wouldn't restart. Uh, the cooking part, it just wanted to stay warm. So I have it down now to cook, but I'm not sure if just the light is burned out or if it's not cooking at all anymore. So I might have to ask one of the ladies in my building to see if they can put this this pan, the removable pan, um, into their oven and finish cooking it because the sides are done, and I'm sure the bottom is, but the center isn't, as you can see. Um, and I'm not sure if my rice cooker is working anymore. So uh, rice cooker cake is a no-go in this rice cooker. Because I think I just killed the rice cooker which sucks because I was using that for a lot of different things but we're gonna unplug it for now and uh ooh, it's stuck in there right now ooh, there we go that outlet is so hard to get things out of and I'm going to go see if um I can find somebody to finish baking this for me um and then maybe just the rice cooker needs time to cool down. Um, I don't know, but I know somebody that did a uh, did it in one of these rice cookers. So I don't know. Maybe I got a bad rice cooker. I'm not quite sure. Um, or maybe it's just warm in here um, because I'm using it like this and that it just overheated. I don't know, but I'm gonna go find somebody and then I'll bring you back um, when the cake is done. Or I'll explain what's going on after that um, if I can't find anybody. All right, in a bit. All right, everybody. I got the cake back from a lady down the hall. She finished cooking it for us. Um, here it's done. So now I got to turn it out and grab my hope that get this up there. One of my workers put this up here. I don't know if I can get it down. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put it on this rack. <gasps> ow, ow, ow! Okay, didn't have enough towel or rag over it. <laughs> that was hot. All right, so we gotta turn this out onto this rack and let it cool. Oh, that just came flying out of there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that bottom is black. Okay, so we're going to lose half the cake because uh, that is definitely done. Um, it was a pass or fail to begin with, so yeah. Once it cools up, I'm going to cut that part off because uh, it's, it's not like hard hard, but it's definitely not going to taste very good. So. Um, can you see it pretty good? Yeah, let's see. So, yeah, I'm going to have to cut down to here, probably, uh, to get it, because being in the rice cooker, I, I, don't, I don't know how they did it. Maybe it's a more expensive rice cooker, but I was, I, I did a lot of looking into this to see if it could be done in different rice cookers, and they said it just depended on the amount of rice cooker. So maybe this happened in the actual oven, um, because of it already being partially cooked so anyways it's okay I told her no worries no problems whatever uh, let's see if we can get this thing further onto the and it's not gonna work because it's not like a lined one anyway so I'm gonna let this cook I'm gonna cut this part off I'll bring you back for the cutting of the thing and then we like I said I got we got the sprinkles to put on with the frosting and then the frosting so yeah, it is what it is, and it's okay. Um, I, I, I believe I did kill my rice cooker, 
So I'm um, going to have to get another one um, to do any more rice cooker meals or anything with it. Won't be making more cakes in it anyways. So um, I don't know. I looked on things like even like I think uh, Food Network or some kind of food website. They were talking about rice cooker uh, cakes too. So and some other legit sites, not just YouTubers. Because, you know, some of those bigger YouTubers, you know, they don't always tell the truth. Uh, they kind of uh, use editing to change things. But, and don't even get me started on TikTok. I won't watch that because there's just so much stuff. But anyways, I'm going to let it cool, and then I'll bring you back, and we'll cut the, that part of it off and maybe start frosting it or something. Um, all right, anybody, everybody, but I'll bring you back when it's cool. Okay, I think the cake is cool enough now because it's nice to the touch. So we're going to work on cutting this top part off so I don't have any burnt cake. Um, I'm pretty sure it happened with the oven because this part was already cooked before. Um, so it's going to be... Well, it still looks good inside. It's just burnt on the outside. So I'm going to put this in here for now. Ooh, this is making a mess. Um, but yeah, alright, so I'm going to wipe that up for now. Alright, um, I know if you, if you, oh, words, 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 frosting. <laughs> I gotta teach that squirrel to stay on that hamster wheel in my brain. Um, so anyways, I guess I'm just a little freaked out because my rice cooker broke now. Uh, so now I need to figure out how to get another one because I, I found out it was just like a temporary purchase, but uh, I find that I use it a lot more. So anyways, um, I know if you frost the top, sometimes it breaks off or whatever. But I think I'm going to do that anyways because the bottom is kind of bumpy. But the top looks really good. It's just the, the fact that the bottom was already cooked from the rice cooker part. And so when it went in the oven, it continued to keep cooking in there. So I'm going to pick this up for just a minute and hopefully don't dry it. I'm going to shake this out into my sink just so I don't get crumbs everywhere. Alright, I guess I will, I guess I will frost the top. So I got the frosting, I took the, the foil off the top and I uncovered the shrink wrap that was around the um, little candy things, these things, little sprinkles. So um, I'm just going to take this knife and make sure there's no crumbs on it, no, no crumbs. And then I'm just going to frost the top. Because I don't want a whole lot of frosting on it. So I'm just going to frost the top and maybe a little on uh, the edge. And then we'll put sprinkles on it. Because this is really fluffy. So anyways, I'm going to put a bunch on the top. And I'll spread it out. Hopefully I don't get too much cake pieces. Um, and we'll do it the next thing I scooped it. Alright, and then I'm just gonna... I am not a cake decor decorator or baker of any type, so... Um, in fact, this may be my first cake that I've ever made. Um, I don't remember. So, I am getting little pieces of cake in there, but it is what it is. It will hide it once the sprinkles go on. And you're gonna eat it anyway, so it really doesn't matter, right? Well, I'm going to eat it. I'll probably share it with Nancy, the lady that helped me cook it, finish cooking. I need a little bit more. Let's use... What are we going to use? Yeah. Just wipe that part off because it had crumbs on it. I don't want to ruin the frosting. I'm going to stick a little bit more so I can go down the edge just a tad. Cover that edge. A little bit better. 
Y'all, I made a cake, although I cooked, I, I, I did kill my rice cooker, so I will have to buy another one, but, uh, it is what it is. It was supposed to work, so I don't know what happened, but, uh, there we go. Um, set that a little bit, so it's frosted, and a little bit of crumbs here and there, but, uh, stick that there. However, that, I'm not going to do the sides. I might add some later if, when I eat a piece or whatever, or if I give a piece to somebody and they want some more on it. Um, just because I don't, I don't have any, I have to put it on a paper plate. So, probably should do that. Uh, let's get a paper plate. Sorry, I'm in front of the camera again. I know, bad camera, huh? Bad camera work. So, all right, we're going to put that there. We're gonna pick it up. Put it on there. So we'll put that over there. Put that towards the sink so we can throw ah, I'm getting frosting everywhere. Alright. And then we'll throw that away in a minute. The kit comes over here. Alright, contained most of the mess. So we're gonna, not all the mess, because I got frosting on me. Oh boy. Alright, like I said, I am not a baker or anything, but we're gonna put some sprinkles on, because I think they're cute. And hence the paper plate, so it contains the little sprinkles. It's over there, the bare spot. Alright, everybody. It's my cake. A little worse for wear, but it will eat. It's edible. Ugh. Look what I did. Y'all, I'm a mess tonight. I'm a little kombugled because I killed the rice cooker. But, alright. So, there's the cake. I wish I could share some with you all. It'd be so cool. But... I gotta go edit this, put this video all together because it's in a bunch of different clips. So I'm really not editing, but I am gonna put it together so it's all one video instead of, I think, four or five different pieces. So I wish I could share it with you all, just hand you some through the camera. That'd be awesome. I am gonna share a piece with Nancy. And after all, she helped me. She should get some of the benefits as well. Um, and I might go tomorrow and go to one of the smaller parks and see if I can... I know you shouldn't feed bread to birds, but maybe the squirrels will eat it or something. Which reminds me, one time I saw a squirrel grab a, a donut out of a garbage can and run off with it. It was the funniest little sight with this little tiny squirrel carrying this huge donut. He picked, I think, the biggest one out of that garbage can. I, I don't know, but it was it was pretty big. Uh, so anyways, that's just a little side note. Um, but that is my cake for my birthday tomorrow. We are, I am going to find a way to cover it up so it doesn't dry out too much by tomorrow. But um, yeah, all right, everybody. I know you can't really see me too much, but you have a blessed night or day depending on when you watch this um and may god bless each and every one of you to overflowing and may he keep you your friends and family safe bye for now